can we as a global tribe get our act together fast enough to be able to change our behavior, our collective behavior fast enough? There is a great potential because it's not that if everybody has to change at the same time. What we talk about is a critical mass. You don't know how many people have to change for it to spread. But the fact is that when people begin to think differently, begin to act differently, that has an effect on others, it spreads. Scientists at RPI have found that when just 10% of the population are deeply committed to an idea, their idea will always be adopted by the majority of the society. Now, what's interesting is their mathematical model shows that it's like a spontaneous leap. That is, below 10%, there is no visible progress. However, above 10%, the idea spreads like wildfire. I don't think it's going to occur first on the whole among the leadership, neither political nor business leadership. Mm -hmm. I think there are always exceptions, and there are very enlightened political leaders, the enlightened business people. But on the whole, these people have too much stake on the present system, and they are afraid of change because their own base of power and wealth lies in maintaining the current system. So the change has to come from elsewhere. I don't think it can come from the very poorest people. The very poorest people, maybe two billion people in the world, try to survive somehow. They have to get the food and the housing and the job and the health care and the education that is a minimum requirement. We can't expect it from that, uh, well, maybe two, three hundred million people who are really the wealthy and the, and the, uh, the, the leading classes. It has to come from those who are in between, who have a choice, who are becoming increasingly concerned, and who know that something needs to be done, and the hope is that they will wake up. If there are people who are aware that the world must become integrated, then the question is, can they come together? Can they make the initial step towards this? I think the problem with, uh, with global crises is that from each individual's point of view, it becomes difficult to know, how to, what do I do about it? When I say my ego and transform my ego, it's an illusion. How can I transform my ego when I'm dependent on so many other egos? So because of the efforts of a few, uh, changes will start occurring. How? Because the pressure, evolutionary pressure, is acting on everybody. It's just that they don't have the right context. All they need is a trigger. The trigger will be provided by this upper echelon of people who are working together to develop positive emotions. So they affect a much bigger number than is indicated by the little community that started it. So one little change in one little community can affect a much larger human community. And the interconnectedness that we have through the internet, interconnectedness of the ego, all of a sudden, without even knowing that it is doing so, will change and establish itself. And therefore, changes can come very fast. The basic idea is, is that there is this vast fabric of humanity stretching endlessly into the distance. I'm connected to you and you to others on out endlessly. Your actions can influence the actions and feelings of others around you, which in turn then can spread to still others and then to still others. If you tell someone they don't influence anybody, they're not going to do anything. But if you tell them they influence a thousand people, they'll change their lives. And that's why I think it's so critical for us to understand, first and foremost, how and why we are connected. Thinking people, they can see opportunities in this. So we have to do this collectively. We have to do this collectively through dialogues, first between two people, through relationships between two people, and then generalizing it to a whole family, to the entire community, to bigger communities, to the country, to the entire world. Change the society to recognize that we cannot do this by ourselves. We cannot do this alone. 
it's actually very simple what we have to do. It's just getting people to, to identify with it and see the benefit of, of what that offer is, the offer of working together and how cataclysmically better life will be, right? even materially and spiritually. So. The lack of connection between people causes all the sadness in the world. No question about it. We are at crossroads. Crossroads. And it's not going to be decided by fate. It's not, going, it's not a destiny. We, have, we are at a point where the future of humanity is going to be decided by how people think about it today and how they behave. Awareness, awakening, these are the key terms. We have a chance to change. One thing we have to recognize is that to change is no longer a question whether or not. Change is coming. The only question is whether it's coming unexpectedly and abruptly on us so that we can't do much about it, we become victim of it, or whether we can anticipate it, create those major changes that will bring about a better future. And that is the unprecedented task of the generation now living.